Hello and welcome to the Working Man Bowhunter YouTube channel. My name is Butch. And I'm Wes. Today we're going to do a product review on ground blinds. Um, Wes and I have recently tried to get into hunting and ground blinds. We've done a lot of research. Traditionally up to this point we focused most of our hunting with either tower blinds, ladder stands, or lock-ons. But as we are very limited to hunting a lot of state land or with our buddies' properties, um, we found that the pop-up stands are great to go up, throw up real quick, get ready for a hunt. And then more importantly, we're trying to get our young children, our young boys into hunting. And this is, um, gives us a lot more flexibility. All right. So, uh, like Bush said, we're going to do the review on a few items here. Uh, we were able to go up to Jay's, one of our favorite hunting stores, um, which we actually were lucky enough to partner with them. So we went up there last weekend, picked up a couple items. Uh, we went full Primo's. We got the Primos Double Bull Deluxe Ground Blind. We also got the Double Bull Tri Stools and then a Primos Monopod to help us film why we're in the uh, ground blind. Uh, we're not going to be able to put our normal tripod up to allow us to film. So we got a couple product, uh, new products that we want to review with you guys. Yeah, so exactly. As Wes just mentioned, the first one we want to talk about will be the Double Bull Deluxe Ground Blind. And uh, we did a lot of research, and one of the reasons why we went um, with this setup is the height. Uh, first and foremost, we didn't want to stand up. We were looking to do um, sitting down. As you can see, we bought the tri stools, so we felt the height wasn't too tall. It had a good height with 70 inches. The, uh, the weight of this product is 27 pounds. Why is that important? Because a lot of times we have to remember we're going to be actually carrying this product to, from, to your vehicle from your vehicle to the stand, um, the woods and back so it doesn't be too heavy. And then lastly, the floor space is 60 by 60. This should hold up to four people, but um, what we're trying to do with the camera setup, probably three people will be ideal. So we're gonna review this product first. Wanna move those out of the way, Wes? All right, so we're going to open this box up together. We haven't opened it up yet. We did uh, check it out in the store a little bit, but uh, we're excited to get into it. So right off the rip, um, it's got a nice canvas bag uh, along with the shoulder strap, which will make it nice for carrying it out into the field. Um, I'm hoping that the material that we researched is the same uh, as far as the canvas, uh, one of the things that you'll see is the difference is the canvas material versus like the tent material. So I'm hoping that the uh, the blind itself is the same material as this. So we'll uh, we'll get it open and check it out. So you can see how easy the straps come on and off. Um, so when you're in the um, out in the woods, there's no problem there. And uh, one thing I will mention, this is nice padded um, sling. We did see other ones that we were doing research on that either had no sling or had a very cheap nylon type handle. Um, this would be key, it appears to be very, very durable. So over time it won't uh, rip or tear as you're going to and from your vehicle in the woods. So again, this is our first time setting it up. So bear with us here. All right, now that we have it out of the box, uh, we're going to try to put this thing together and see the um, easy up, um, and then ultimately, what are some of the cool features this thing has for uh, bow hunting. So with that being said, it's our first time doing it, so... Pull it your way a little bit. Do the side first. Pops up very nice, very sturdy. We're gonna do this. The directions say do the four sides first. It looks like you just got a pole and they pop into place. Wes, you pop that one. Okay, and then go to the top. It does say that go in through the door and do it through the door. In this case, what we here's the door. This looks like you undo it here. Oh, this is a nice clip. So this is very cool when you're inside. Then it actually has bungees here. 
very cool features thus far. Full cord for the door. And now inside. All right, there we have it. So the blind is together and you can see realistically we did it here in only about less than a minute. Um, and if my partner wasn't here, I think I could have really did this on my own. Okay, so once you got it up, um, first thing you notice is the door, um, like Butch mentioned, pops open here, and this is kind of nice, pull that, easy access, opens the door all the way up, out of the way for you. Uh, if you look at the overall construction of it, it is that same canvas material that the bag's made out of, nice and durable, it's not the light tent fabric. Um, moving from there, it's got tie downs on all four of the sides, uh, nice heavy duty grommet, and uh, set up for that and then as you move around you can see there's windows at all the areas 360 degrees around it I'll pick it up we can spin it yep. so as you can see they're all the way around it multiple windows it's also on the front side here it's got a vent and uh, we're gonna get in it and check out some of the inside features here spin it back around Okay, now that Wes walked you around the 360 of it, we uh, want to go back inside. We did close the door. Again, we're, we're really just trying to test out overall functionality of the blind right now. We'll, this is pretty cool. Clicks down, this pops up. Pull that in there. You can allow your hunting partner to go inside. Go ahead, Wes. So first things we're seeing is there's a lot of um, green hooks inside to hang up your gear which is going to be really nice so you're not having to buy additional hooks. There's uh, looks to be hooks across all, all four sides. There is the um, added netting and they claim you can shoot through netting. I know Wes and I are not a fan of shooting through anything that can overall affect the flight of your, uh, your arrow, um, can affect your overall speed. I mean, that's ultimately why you're trying to buy these fast bows, right? I don't think you want to um, inhibit that by shooting through a net regardless it's there. The large netting sections are actually, you can unclip them and drop them down. Uh, some of the smaller ones are sewed right in. So you'll either, if you choose to, you could shoot through it. Um, that is a possibility. But the rest of them either, either have a drop away cover or the netting itself will drop down, which is pretty nice. Now that we have the blind up, I am inside of it. So if it's a little bit dark, I apologize. But because, uh, these, nowadays these ground blinds cost so so much money. We want to give you the full experience and sh talk about the uh, the ease of use and the accessories inside. Um, I'll start off with saying that this blind right here, which is the Double Bowl Deluxe ground blind, I think it MSRP is at 400. We got it on sale a little bit less than that, but regardless, they're a lot of money. So with that being said, the first thing we we see, as I mentioned earlier, is there's a lot of hooks inside here, and the hooks kind of serve two two purposes. One, you can see that how quickly the windows come down. So this is a side window that traditionally you may want to keep up, but let's just say that uh, you're hunting and a buck's coming from the side and you have no shot. You can again quickly, quietly take it down, drop the window. There is a rod in here, so it does have weight and it's not going to blow around. You can drop it and it's going to stay on there, which is a really cool option. Um, for lighting, I'm going to try to leave all the windows open. There is a window up here. This would be for venting that you could slide open like this to get more side view if you wanted to simply see, watch, um, or just to get more airflow. So again, very nice. Now the front, uh, as I also mentioned earlier, we, we are a big fan of the nets. We get they serve a purpose if it's trying to get more concealment, but uh, in all reality, we will probably just take this off and not use it. But you can see again, nice easy hooks. Now you have two options to hang things up here. You can also, obviously this bar is very sturdy, so you could clamp things. There's a lot of accessories now that uh, tree stand companies make that just latch right onto these bars. And the same thing, it drops down here. Looks like you could almost take this thing off completely just by this all the way through. But with that being said, looks like nice sturdy zippers, zip down, zip up, and these will naturally open slide this up all right now what's unique here is this is a unique design that we're noticing is it has two clamps here that it looks like you can expand the window in the center and have more um, bigger shooting um, window 
unclamp it, slide down, push it down, lock it in the position you want it, ultimately controlling your windows. And same thing for the top. Just push it up, it appears like. Get all the way up and then same concept as locking. It locks into place. Now it's very sturdy, nice shooting windows. Again, we will remove this net, but for this video, we'll just leave it on. Sliding over. Within the side window. Um, there is one more window in the back. Um, same thing we showed you on that side. That would be for uh, more airflow. Um, again, you'd probably keep this closed, but if you got hot or you heard something you want to peek up, you could definitely slide it up. I think on the back one, you want to be a little bit more careful because it is going to make a little bit noise where these made really no noise. Uh, the last thing that we noticed is there's a nice window up here. Again, if you wanted airflow, um, or I guess in case of emergency, if you had to stand up for some reason, but you do get some natural sunlight. This may be really cool if it comes to it being a little bit later at night and you wanted some uh, air to come in or some extra additional light. If you didn't have a lighted site, Wes and I both do have um, the, the added light for our site, so we wouldn't need this option, but some people may, so th that is also cool. Um, last but not least, on the very bottom, there are the um, stake pockets to extend this and put the stake through. The uh, stakes are in the bag, they are metal, um, they appear um, very durable and good shape. So overall, I would say at this point, um, until we get out and actually hunt with it, we are extremely pleased with a couple things. The uh, durability, the ease of putting it up, the, uh, the ease of opening and closing the windows. Well, we're not a big fan of zippers and that's a lot of lines turned us off is the amount of zippers. Zippers get noisy. Um, and that's, that's never um, conducive when you're in the woods and you have open and, um, and closed zippers. So these would stay open and then again, very nice. And again, one more time, I mean, this is really, really nice how they pop up, quiet as can be. Um, that's one of the coolest things I think we like. Time to go check out the, 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 the tri-stools. All right, now that you got your tent all situated, uh, we needed a couple of stools. A lot of guys just take out the old school folding chairs, the old camp chairs, and uh, they use that. A lot of times that'll, that'll, that'll do in a pinch, but uh, we wanted something a little more uh, intended and designed for the hunting application. So we picked up a couple of these uh, double bowl tri stools. Um, a couple things uh, right off the rip. You'll notice the nice sturdy fabric material along with the, uh, the sturdy tube design. Um, and then something that I personally like, they've got a little lock on them. Um, there's nothing more frustrating than trying to lug out all your gear and then you got your chair opening up on you. Um, happens when I'm camping all the time with those old school chairs. So once you undo the clip, take it off, and then you can open it up and uh, get it set up. It's got a nice backrest. Uh, that was another thing that we looked for. You'll find a lot of the triangle just camping or hunting chairs but a lot of them don't have the backrest that we were looking at. So we did go with the backrest, make it a little, comfort a little more comfortable for you as you're sitting out there for uh, hours on end. And then the other thing was the overall design. A lot of them you would see as just a rec rectangular or square uh, stool. These ones are the triangular design, allow you a little bit more flexibility and movement while you're trying to shoot. Um, again, these are the double bull. Um, tri stools. Um, they're overall extremely comfortable. Sit down, Bush. Um, and they're they're compact enough to where we should be able to get two of them in our ground blind with our monopod with the camera set up on it, and you'll still have enough room to move around, have your gear on the ground. That way, it's not uh, not sitting right underneath your stool. So as I said, and a couple of things I noticed is one, it does have a slightly padded seat, which is convenient and padded back. Um, and you felt me reach here underneath the seat, and this is kind of cool. There's added support that if you guys can see out there, that uh, additional uh, strap going across the bottom. Wes and I each only weigh around 190 pounds, 
but for those who may be over the 225, closer to 250 and beyond, um, th this will make you feel nice. It's really sewed in nicely. Um, it's thick. It has rubber supports going around each side with nice thick stops right here. You can see there, nice thick stops. So when the rubber comes down or the leather comes down, it's, it's a nice solid and uh, it looks like it's well built, well designed from a uh, not only comfortable durability standpoint, but uh, also um, the ruggedness of being in the woods and I'm using this year after year. Again, uh, we're not sponsored by Primos. Uh, we weren't paid to do this. We did a lot of research and um, as Wes mentioned, uh, we, we put some effort into seeing what was out there. If we're gonna spend the $400 plus these bar, um, these tri-stools cost us uh, $40 each again we got them on sale we got them just a little bit less than that um, there were, we found ones that were way more than this but we weren't looking to break the bank for um, chairs to sit in a couple hours in a ground blind but these do match the ground blind we bought uh, which is which is cool I guess but it's the same fabric same durability they fold up nice you can see how quickly Wes just put his away and keep this in mind as you're going in the woods um, I mentioned that the ground blind itself had the bag with a nice padded strap. Same thing with the chairs. You can see Wes put his together already. It has it has a little bit of a handle or a shoulder um, harness to go over your shoulder, which is also convenient. Um, you're gonna have your bow, your weapon, your backpack, our case. We were talking, we're gonna be uh, holding probably our little boy's hands walking through the woods as they're nervous. And uh, you, you don't have a lot of other room. So you can put the blind over one shoulder, chair over the other shoulder, and uh, looks like you can head out from there. The last thing that uh, Wes actually pointed out that we should get because he's done a lot of filming for us over the last couple of years is he mentioned the tripod that we have wasn't going to probably work as we grow when we start getting a third person to stand. So he had mentioned maybe we try the Primo's trigger stick. We've used them in the past for um, hunting and we've actually screwed off the top. It has the traditional fork for the rifle. And uh, what's nice about this is you screw it off. The camera can screw right in the top of there, which we have tested out. But what's convenient about this is you'd screw it in camera facing um, outward and you can drop it. And he was actually messing around with it the other day as we were just practicing. And it's really, really convenient because now you can rotate really any way you want. You can turn very quick the camera be now facing west and then raise it up if you had to so really nice this also does have the additional strap that you could uh, lock onto your wrist um, in case you dropped it with as expensive these cameras are nowadays or if you could latch it onto your backpack with that being said um, overall i would say um, without using it in the woods and we will come back and give that review after the right. hunting season I would say we're happy thus far right yeah the overall quality of all of the products um, seems to be very very durable um, well built and we'll put it through its paces this year uh, like you said we're gonna get our boys out get them out um, in the woods for multiple deer hunts this year hopefully and uh, this these items will allow us to do that comfortably with them and not have to worry about getting them up in a tree. So um, overall, like you said, I think we're very happy so far. Um, we're gonna test out shooting out of these. Uh, we've never hunted out of a ground blind, especially with our bows. So we're gonna test that out and see how that goes. All right, hope this uh, video was helpful. Thank you from the Working Man Bow Hunter. I'm Butch. Wes. Thank you. There I was, back in the wild again. I feel right at home where I belong I had that feeling coming over me again